It is our first full day in Sorrento. Guys, I'm so excited. I honestly feel like I've dreamt of this trip for what feels like the longest time. I've always wanted to come here. I've always wanted to visit the Amalfi Coast. And we are finally here. So we did actually arrive yesterday. We had a pretty early flight at around 6 a.m. And you know what? We actually had a really fun day in the end. We were absolutely shattered when we got here, but we did stop off and visit Pompeii on the way, which was really fun. There's so much to do. Like I've tried really hard to make a good itinerary for this trip because I really wanted to make the most of being here but honestly I feel like you could spend weeks here like I could spend a whole summer here so we stopped at Pompeii yesterday and then we made our way to Sorrento and yeah this is our hotel for the next two nights we're only here for two nights and then we're going to Positano afterwards feels like a little bit of a mini Italy tour. That's kind of what I'm calling this. I am actually coming back to Italy when me and Dan get home because I'm coming back with Millie to go to Florence a few days later. So I really feel like I'm on an Italy tour at the minute and I'm absolutely loving it. I tried really hard to find a balance with this trip because I saw a hotel in Positano that I absolutely fell in love with um, but it is a little bit more on the expensive side. So in terms of booking the hotel for Sorrento and then for Sicily because that's where me and Dan are going to finish our trip um, I wanted to find somewhere a little bit more on the, the affordable side this hotel was super affordable but oh my gosh we have had the best time here so far like it's so cozy very homey and um, the staff is so lovely they literally text me a few days before and then also on the day that we were traveling up just to make sure that everything was like going smoothly like if we needed anything and um, they've helped us so much with just like getting our bearings as well it's really cute in here like literally we slept like a log <laughs> last night we've ended up sleeping for about 12 hours so we're starting the day a little bit late today just got ready i've just done a little bit of light makeup for the day and we're actually going to capri today so we did a little bit of exploring last night in terms of like sorrento and the town uh, we stopped and had some pasta dan had his first limoncello as well i just shooed him off to the bathroom to start this vlog because I don't know what it is. I get so nervous starting vlogs in front of people. Come here. You locked me away. Yes, I did. I'm sorry. I got shy. <laughs> Literally walking in there, I was like, guess I'll just sit on the toilet then. <laughs> okay, well, you hear now. It's fine. Okay. Um, but yeah, we're kind of matching today, which is quite cute. Do you know why I picked this bikini out? I showed you the place that we're going to in Capri. It's like quite blue. Is it? Yeah. Do you not remember? <laughs> I showed you the pictures. Nope. Do you know what? It's actually like speaking to a brick wall sometimes. Mm. But yeah, I've got to a beach club called La Pantolina. So we're going to go there today for food and just explore. I anticipated that we wouldn't have time for breakfast this morning. And I got some chocolate croissants. I don't know what it is about being on holiday or like somewhere warm. Um, but I just love getting these little like pastry croissants. so happy to be here like I can't explain it. We've come to a place called La Fontalina. It's like a beach restaurant slash beach club I want to say. Um, you can like sit on the beach but you can come here and have lunch as well which is what we're currently doing. I'm hoping we're going to have time to sit on the beach as well. Um, it was quite a walk down here. We've walked all through Capri which oh my god this is like one of the most beautiful places I've ever been. Like the shopping is no joke. So yeah, we've come for lunch. It's about three o'clock. I'm hoping we can sit on the beach afterwards. But it is so beautiful here. Like we've got such a gorgeous table. Views of the sea, of the beach. And I'm just obsessed. I'm so happy that I found this place. I think they do two different reservations. You can either come at 1 p.m. or 3 p.m. Because we had quite a light and we've come at 3 p.m. Um, and I kind of wish we had the whole day here now because it's just stunning. But yeah, it's such a beautiful day. The weather is gorgeous. It's really warm to be fair, which I'm really happy about. Are you having a good day? I'm having the best day. It's absolutely <laughs> wonderful. Yeah. You've organised this very well. It's been a bit stressful and a bit hectic. Yes, 
it has been very hectic, like trying to get on the ferry this morning, we got lost a little bit. <laughs> but we made it in one piece, lift, so it's fine. It was a nightmare. Yeah, we have to get like a lift down from Sorrento to like the pier. Do the video? Yes, thank you. Thank you. Guys, is this not the most beautiful dress you have ever seen? Because I've just got ready, um, it's now day two, and I've just put this dress on from House of CB. I put some accessories in. These are the earrings that Isla gave me um, for her wedding. I'm obsessed with this look, honestly. I didn't try this dress on properly when I first got it because it does have like a corset at the back, which I couldn't tighten enough myself. Dan's just done it for me and I'm literally obsessed with this dress. It's so pretty. As I said, it's now day two. We're currently packing up because we are actually checking out of this hotel this morning and going to Positano, which I have to say is probably the part of the trip that I'm the most excited for because I think I maybe mentioned this yesterday, but I like started the whole planning for this trip around this one hotel that I really saw, that I saw and really wanted to stay at in Positano. So we're going there today, we're staying for four nights. So we're currently checking out, we're gonna go for breakfast. I found a really cute cafe around the corner. We didn't actually do much yesterday after I finished vlogging. Like we had lunch and stuff in Capri and then we pretty much just came home and went to bed. And um, we didn't actually end up going out for dinner or anything. Like we ate quite late in the end, so yeah. I've had a very early start because someone decided to cause an absolute ruckus going to the toilet at 5 a.m. So I definitely need a coffee. He's now he's now at the point where he's ignoring me about this. <laughs> Absolutely was his fault, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but yeah, I've been up for several hours at this point. <laughs> and to be honest, I feel slightly shattered. So I'm definitely in need of a coffee. Dan is officially on the coffee hype. <laughs> When we first started dating, he literally gagged at the thought of a coffee and look at him now. I still don't enjoy the taste. No, you do when it's sweet. No, you like a long, sweet coffee. Sweet, I'm better with it, but if you gave me like a coffee. Yeah, no, you wouldn't coffee, drink that. I'd sit there and go, this is disgusting, but I'd still drink it. Yeah, but you're getting that. This is like a step to improvement. Give it 20 years and you'll be drinking your coffee black. Well, I got an iced latte, oat milk and vanilla, of course. Orange juice, which is so yummy. Also, guys, can we have a look at my holiday nails a sec? Because I'm obsessed with them. Like, how cute are they? They're so shiny. Anyway, back to the drinks. Dan got lemon juice. Yes. And is it nice? It's delicious. Cute. This is so good. Something about fresh orange juice in the morning is just chef's kiss. Okay, this is the avocado mousse that I have been so excited for. I saw this on the menu and I was like, I need that right now. So I got the avo egg. Dan obviously got full English because he is a creature of habit. As am I, to be fair. I'm always an avocado and egg girl, but this looks so yummy. about to cry this whole morning I've wanted to cry <laughs> I just feel really emotional sorry my hair is looking crazy so we've just checked into our hotel we actually got here a couple of hours ago and um, we had to wait a couple of hours for the room to be ready they were still cleaning it so we've just had some lunch I'm actually speechless like I cannot even explain how happy I am and how grateful I am to be here like why do I want to cry it's so beautiful so um, we're staying at a hotel Marion Canto. <laughs> I actually came across this hotel on TikTok and as soon as I saw it, I was like, I need to go there. I have to stay there. The price was actually pretty reasonable for this time of year. I don't know if I mentioned this in a different video, but I did actually look at coming here over my birthday in July, but obviously with it being peak season, it was super expensive. Um, so I found these dates instead at end of April, start of May, and it was so much cheaper. Um, it's actually been pretty reasonable. I think for four nights we've paid 1400 euros like all together which for what the hotel is 
you'll see the view in a minute like for me it's worth every single penny so anyway we just had some lunch it was delicious i had some gnocchi and anyway we've just got to our room i've taken one look at the view and i was like i need to pick up my vlogging camera because i don't even have words so let me show you inside first this is our little like entryway in fact so let me do it as if as if we're walking in together um, so this is the first thing that we see. I'll have to double check which room I booked for this. I think it was, it wasn't one of the most expensive suites, but it is a suite, which again, I feel like for the price was so good. So we've got tons of space. These tiles are to die for. I'm obsessed with every single thing about this room, like the decor, the bed. We've got so much space. I've not even looked at the bathroom yet. So let me just see. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm sorry. Oh my god, so we have a double sink. This is the view out of the bathroom window. This is like the restaurant area. So this is literally where we've just sat to have lunch. You can already see a bit of the view. Um, so yeah, we have the shower here. And then you come through. This is the bed from this angle. We have this window. <laughs> and then this is our terrace. I didn't even realize we were gonna have so much outdoor space. So obviously we have a sea view. And then this is the view from the side. We have a full view of Positano Bay. I literally walked out here and was speechless. Like I cannot even describe how beautiful this is. Like the camera is not doing it justice. I feel like I'm in a movie, honestly. Like I'm just, I, I, I literally, I'm obsessed with everything about this. So this is like, our private beach at the hotel as well we have like sun lounges again this is the restaurant area um that is going to be us on tuesday because i have booked us a boat day but i just cannot get over this view like what the hell i can't even explain like how i'm feeling right now i don't know you know when you like you go to some places and it's like because you've hyped them up so much in your head and you've been so excited to go to them that it's like is it going to be as good as I want it to be? This is like one of those places that is like exceeded all of my expectations already. Like I just, I'm completely obsessed with it. I'm so grateful that we are here. I'm so happy that we're here. But yeah, I think we're just going to like chill for a little bit. As I said, we've just had some lunch, so we're probably not going to go out for a few hours. I do have some content to shoot, so I'm probably going to do that now. Outfit of the night. I'm in all white tonight, guys which means no tomato sauce for me. No tomato sauce, no red wine, nothing that's gonna cause any issues, okay? I mean, I'm gonna try because I am very much enjoying tomato pasta at the minute. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna head out. We're not booked anywhere, so we're just gonna have a wonder, see what we can find. It's currently 10 to eight, so kind of a late dinner tonight, but to be fair, I feel like that's more common um, in Italy. Got this shirt on from Zara, um, some linen pants, my little brown bag and yeah we're gonna go and have some delicious food and delicious drinks guys we've literally just spent like i don't even know how long trying to film this you can't even see it is this a sneak peek i wish i could explain how long we've just spent to be fair it wasn't actually that bad we've probably been doing that for like an hour i would, I would say an hour yeah. yeah it'll be worth it in the end anyway right we're gonna go for dinner shrimp pasta tonight. So it's a little bit gloomy today. Um, we've just got up, we're about to go downstairs for breakfast because I didn't, I actually forgot, but we do actually have breakfast included in the hotel, which is perfect. Um, yeah, it's definitely a little bit more chilly today, which to be honest, I don't mind. It's actually kind of cool looking at the clouds, like right at the top of the cliff. So yeah, I've just put on 
black top from Zara, my black linen pants from NAKD. These are the same linen pants that I had last summer. I've actually brought the ones from last summer as well that are the more like natural linen uh, color. I'm obsessed with these pants. Oh my God, guys, every single person needs these. They fit so nicely. I'm gonna go down and have some breakfast. We actually have booked a Vespa for today, which I'm excited about. I mean, I'm definitely going to leave the drive into Dan, I think. It was so busy on the roads yesterday. It seems a little bit more quiet so far today. But yeah, driving yesterday was crazy. Like it was so busy. No pressure on me. Yeah, no pressure on you. Also, if anyone ever wonders why Dan walks around in a beanie hat. <laughs> <laughs> I remember Matt saying this like last year. He was, she was like, why is Dan wearing a beanie in the Dominican? I'm concerned. It's for his hair. It like sets his hair in place. Dan's on a mission to have a pizza because we are yet to have a pizza. We've been in Italy for like four days now. All we've eaten is pasta. So we're gonna try and find somewhere to have pizza. I, I do think I've got, um, a restaurant on the itinerary. Fingers crossed we can get in there um, because it looks really, really good. But yeah, we're just gonna have a day of exploring. I love. Passenger princess, as always. Having a good day. Yes. <laughs> this is good. Yes, I think this, could this be my favorite day so far? I think so. Do you reckon? Yeah. Yeah, I would say so. Yeah, I've really enjoyed today so far. Just because it's been like, there's been like no schedule or anything. It's just get on the Vespa, drive. Yeah. See where we end up. We've ended up here. We're having pizza, hopefully so shortly. I'm going to get... Oh my god, Dan is fixated on, I can't see anyone that's got one now, oh there's one there, that lemon thing that that girl's holding, Dan is fixated on it. Anyway, we've made it to Amalfi, it is very busy here, like so busy, the traffic coming in was crazy, um, it does get like this as well in the day in Positano, I would say, like coming out of Positano it was super busy as well. I didn't expect it to be this busy at this time of year, but it is like rammed, um, so we stopped for some pizza. Because again, that was like the mission for today. We've not had any pizza this trip yet. So having some pizza, having a sit down, and um, gonna get a lemon sorbet done. Probably just have a mooch and head back because it's now half three. So it took a while to get here. We've got our pizza. I always get olives and mushrooms on my pizza. Olives are sweet. Man overboard. Good. Delicious. Thank you so much. Thank you. Look at our little scooter. Taxi driver. Right, love, where are you going? <laughs> Stylish. Good afternoon. Are you having a good day? <laughs> you yeah, enjoying yourself? Yeah, I'm having a great day. I haven't really vlogged much today. It has been pretty cloudy again today, which is a little bit annoying. So yeah, we've not really done a whole lot. We did some shopping, we had some lunch, which I'm pretty sure I did film some clips of. Um, I had a lobster club sandwich, which was actually delicious. I can't remember the name of where we went to, but it was just like along one of the little streets that we found. But anyway, we're about to go out for dinner. I have booked a restaurant tonight. It's called Restaurant Max. We might also stop and have some drinks at Franco's. It's basically a bar literally just up the road from our hotel um, and I did actually have it on my itinerary of places to go. Let me try and actually show you my outfit because I feel like every single day I've just tilted the camera and you can't even really see what I'm wearing. Um, but yeah, this is my outfit of the night. I really love the skirt. So the skirt is PLT as well. Um, as is the top. We're actually supposed to have our boat day today, but we've now actually moved it to tomorrow because I'm really, really hoping it's gonna be sunnier and warmer tomorrow. The weather forecast does say that it's gonna be better. Um, and they were so good about it, the boat company that we booked through. I'll leave them listed down below. Um, but I literally messaged them yesterday because obviously yesterday was pretty cloudy as well. Just basically asking if we could switch days because 
I feel like with it being a boat day, I really want the weather to be as good as possible for it. Um, so we have that now tomorrow instead, which will be our last full day here. And then we're checking out on Thursday. I'm going to Sicily. Are we having a drink tonight? Well, in fact, yeah, we are. We're going to a bloody bar. What we're talking yeah, about? Drink, so. Oh my gosh, right. Course, we drank we're going to a bar, pretty much right? every single day, but as we should because we're on holiday. <laughs> Guys, I'm so excited. The sun has come out. It's looking so much brighter, so much sunnier this morning. We just had a very quick breakfast. As I mentioned yesterday, it was supposed to be yesterday, but we've moved it to today instead just because the weather was looking a little bit better and it is so much sunnier already. It's only about quarter to nine currently because we're doing nine till one. I'm so excited. There's something about boat days on holiday that are just like always my favorite days. Like. When me and Rach went to Ibiza, my favourite day of everything that we did was our boat day. We just had it the best time. So nice being on the water. Um, like you just listen to music all day. Get to take in the view, sunbathe. Anyway, I've just curled my hair, done some light makeup. I really love my outfit for today. Let me show you what I'm wearing. I really love this bikini because you can tie it so many different ways. This is just the way that I've like gone with hopefully we'll be able to find where we're going pretty easily and then we've got four hours because we've booked a half day i was like um and arm between booking a half day and a full day but because it's like a private boat tour it was expensive so we ended up doing the half day because obviously that was cheaper and it means that we can do something else with the afternoon so yeah we're gonna head down now i can't wait look at that sunshine ah oh, stunning Things have not gone very well. We uh, we got on the boat, found the guy. It was all going swimmingly for all of six minutes, and then someone decided to get a bit seasick. Are you vlogging? Yes. I am vlogging. I'm talking to the people and telling them how the day's gone. Yeah, someone decided to get a little bit seasick, and now we're on land. And someone has had to buy an Armalfi Coast hat. So, A, I've bought a hat because I feel like I'm getting dehydrated is the issue here. I don't feel like I'm getting sunburned, but I just feel very dehydrated. So, I was like, a bit of shade might help the situation. Never in my life have I been seasick or felt seasick, gotten seasick, anything. Um, so, I don't really know what's happened today. It's probably because I didn't eat much at breakfast because I have felt a little bit like bloated and gross the past few days, probably because we're eating so much like pasta and carbs and cheese. Um, so I didn't have much breakfast, but I did have a coffee. honestly flown by. We've not really done much since getting back from the boat, which I have to say was incredible. Like, I think I tried to film the clip of when we saw the dolphin. Oh my God, that was like the best part of the trip for me. It was just amazing. It was like a scramble for cameras, wasn't it? It was, I can't believe that I saw it, honestly. I saw this like little fin <laughs> far away. <laughs> I thought it was a shark. I literally joked to Dan, I was like, is that a shark? And then I pointed it out and he was like, oh my God, it's a dolphin. So we went on a hunt to find this dolphin. We got so close to it, it was incredible. Uh, we've come to Aldo's tonight for dinner, which I really wanted to go to La Sponda, which is part of this hotel as well. This hotel's called La Sierra News. Yeah, I really wanted to go to La Sponda because it looks so beautiful. It's very but, fancy. I mean, yeah. it's, it's that now. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah, it is. It's literally right behind us, like the decor and everything looks incredible, um, but it was super booked up. I couldn't even book a table when I was like planning the trip and things. Um, so we've come here instead because we managed to get in. It's very expensive. I wasn't quite anticipating just how expensive it was going to be. To be fair, everything here is pretty expensive. This is the last time we will have dinner in front of this view. I've not even tried this yet, guys, but how good does that look? I don't know what the cheese is. 
I mean, yeah, everything looks incredible to be fair. I got a sea bass because I was like, I feel like I need something light. I've had so much pizza and pasta, but I couldn't resist this. I love smoked salmon. Um, I don't know what the cheese is, but it looks delicious. And we got some croquettes. Dan got some meatballs. All right, Dan's never had smoked salmon before. First time I've ever eaten it. <laughs> smoked salmon. It, it, it actually is the first time I've ever eaten it. That is fire. I can't tell what the cheese is. Yeah, it's tasty. You like it? Oh, I don't know. yeah. Oh. Are you having the moment that I just had with the meatball? That is the best sea bass I've ever had. Okay, there you, you want to try it? Have you ever tried sea bass? Never. It's quite, it's not very fishy. I mean, considering. Do you know what's really funny? Do you know what's really funny? He says he doesn't like fish. He literally ordered like the fishiest pasta on the menu. Though. Like, even for me, it was like too fishy. <laughs> My, mm. Right, my issue with fish. Oh, so good. I don't like. It's not even that I don't like fish. It's like I just don't like salt. We've arrived in Tormina. He's having a little moan back there. Right. Anyway. Are you joking? I wish we had longer here. Oh my god, it is absolutely stunning. The drive here, beautiful. Weather, 10 out of 10. It is definitely hotter than it was in Positano. Literally stunning. We're staying in a very cute, kind of homey, affordable place. Because as I said, I've tried to kind of like keep a balance in terms of like the cost of everything. The place that I've booked here is actually our cheapest stay. It's given like Airbnb. It's like an Airbnb, very cute, very homey. Luckily we got here pretty much bang on check-in time because with it just being like a little apartment, um, there was nowhere to like put luggage or anything. Like we're not in a hotel this time. But the views of everything is so, so cute. Like the view out of our window from the bed is stunning. We've got this little like balcony that wraps all the way around. Nice full length mirror in here. Yeah, it's just really cute, really cozy. We'll absolutely do the job for the next three nights. So uh, we're pretty central. We're gonna go down now and find somewhere for lunch because it's about three o'clock and we've not really eaten much. But yeah, just wanted to check in, show you where we're staying in Tormina. Um, this is like our little living space. So very spacious. Got a little bathroom, a little twin room, which you will definitely be getting banished to if you piss me off. It's a lot warmer than Positano and Sorrento, so I think we'll maybe try and find like a pool day for tomorrow. Oh my god, yeah, I've not even said. So there's a Four Seasons literally down the road from us, and it's where The White Lotus was filmed. Anyone seen The White Lotus? Oh my god, I was absolutely obsessed with that TV show. We binge watched it over Christmas. So I think we might treat ourselves tomorrow and yeah, have a pool day at the Four Seasons. First pizza in Toromina. That kind of rhymed, kind of didn't. You're out, love. You're already tucking in. Yeah, baby. All right, come on then, let's. Let's see how you feel about it. This looks delicious. We've kind of just like stumbled across this place, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but the view from the restaurant is stunning. Oh. Yummy. Bang it. Such a creature of habit when it comes to pizza. I'm olives and mushrooms every single time. We are officially at the stage of repeating outfits because she's pretty much run out of clothes already. I say already, we've only got two days left. It's all right, I've not. Yeah, you look very gorgeous today, I have to say. You look very handsome and you look very tanned. Thank you. You caught a tan. Absolutely good. Thanks, darling. Right, well, we're going to attempt to go down to the Four Seasons. I can't remember what the actual name of the, this Four Seasons is. I think it's San Domenico, I want to yeah. say. Had a little croissant for breakfast. We did a little shop last night. Um, and yeah, I've done light makeup. I've had to put my hair up today because it was getting greasy. It was looking very messy. First sleep pony of the holiday for me, which is very unusual. I usually wear my hair like this a lot, um, but I've quite enjoyed having it down so far. Anyway, we're gonna go outside, have a wonder, feeling ready for the day. We've only got two more full days, including this one, and I'm already feeling sad about having to leave soon. We found ourselves a little spot on the beach. What have you got? Tell us all. Got a sandwich. Looks very yummy. It's got cheese, it's got tomato, it's got ham, it's also got bread. It also comes with a plate and a napkin. Gotcha. <laughs> got ourselves a little panini. I also got a tequila. I mean, it's only 
10 to 1, but fancy the tequila sunrise. It is officially our last day on our Italy trip. I'm sad. I'm actually feeling sad to go home. I mean, I'm not because I'm really excited to see Freddie, but at the same time, like I've honestly had the best holiday. It's been incredible. I don't really feel like I've vlogged that much in Tormina. We've had a pretty like chill trip since we've been here. Um, obviously we went to the beach yesterday, which was really fun. We went to a little restaurant not far from us for dinner as well. And we had some pizza, which was so delicious and um, really affordable as well. Like by far the cheapest meal that we've had there. And it's, it was so yummy. Um, so anyway, we've just got up. We're gonna have a pool day today, which I'm really excited about. We did try to go to the Four Seasons yesterday, but they were too busy to allow like non-hotel guests by the pool. Um, so I called the Atlantis this morning because um, that's actually right next to where I've made a dinner reservation this evening. Um, I saw this restaurant on TripAdvisor actually and it looks so beautiful. So I've booked us a dinner table there and the Atlantis Hotel is right next to it. And luckily they have um, some beds that we can hire for the day, like by the pool. So we're going there now. I've not had any breakfast yet, very hungry. <laughs> Dan's in the doghouse because he ate the last of our food this morning <laughs> without sharing it with me. So anyway, we're gonna go now um, and yeah, just have a day by the pool. I'm actually really excited because I feel, I don't know, I feel like sometimes I prefer pool days to beach days. Do you wanna go for breakfast or do you wanna go straight? No, to just go straight there because okay. there's nowhere really to go for breakfast is there. We have found that in Tormina. There's not really many breakfast places, or at least from what I've tried to find. <laughs> it's um, with like, everywhere closes and stuff. Yeah, like everywhere classes, opens so. at like 12ish, which then is basically lunchtime anyway. Like it's half 11 now. Um, and we've not really found anywhere for breakfast. There is a place that looks really nice down the road, but it's like a 10 minute walk. Um, and if we weren't going out like to the pool, then I'd walk down now, but we may as well just go straight there. Mm -hmm. Little amuse bouche. Ooh, are you gonna try? I will try. He said tomato, I can't remember what he said. It's like a tomato soup? That's like tomato, tomato with breadcrumbs? Yeah, it's like tomato with breadcrumbs, like it's a creamy kind of tomato. Ooh. Mm. Yummy. Very tasty. Ooh, this looks delicious. So Dan got a beef fillet. Beef fillet? Beef. Yeah. Filet. Filet. These potatoes, oh my god, they smell absolutely divine. And then I've got a little tomato pasta because that just screams Italy to me. I couldn't not have a pasta as my last meal. 